Got all my niggas in the building with me? It's the speaker knockers. Somebody call some pretty bitches though. Motivation. Yeah. I pop a perk. I fuck your bitch. Got you blowing up a phone while she sucking dick. Yellow bone. Hella thick. She know I be getting money like I'm selling bricks. If you gon' tell them something, you should tell them this. Every time them people grab me, I ain't tell them shit. Not a word, but my government. So they can run my name and I be bailing quick. What's up? It's the Unprivileged Drinkers back with a drink review. It's me, your guy, Dirty. Dirtiest motherfucker alive. Got my boy, Dink, a.k.a. Pootie, next to me. And to the far right. Unprivileged Drinkers, baby. Yeah, I had to introduce everybody because I don't want him talking too much. But in the last episode, I know I wasn't there. Uh, the guys talked about Attic Brewery. They came up on their So three. what we're going to talk about now and try for you guys today is called Year Three. Uh, their new beer, I guess, uh, culminate their three years of being in business. I mean, if you haven't been to Attic Brewery in the Philadelphia area, definitely go. Cat, what's the sure. address? I know uh, you know. 137 East Berkeley. 137 East Berkeley. Make sure you get there. Germantown, section of Philadelphia. Uh, oh. Wayne and Berkeley, specifically, right off of uh, Route 1. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Laura and Todd. Berkeley and Green Street. Thanks for treating us like family. Oh. We're about to do a quick review of their beer. Thank you. Uh, Pooty cracked the, the seal, I guess, if, if that's what it would be. He ain't used to cracking nothing else. <laughs> right. Man, them Jones be layups, though. So they be, thank uh, you, thank you, thank you. Uh, if you've never had Attic Brewery beer, they have uh, great taste, different flavors. Yes. Uh, they really have any something for everybody. So if you like something that's super hoppy, they got something for you. If you like something that's light, they got something for you. Traditional. If, if you like coffee, they usually have something for you. And their labels are pretty cool. This is simple, but I like it. Give me like a 70 feel. So yes. It's called, it's a... Bourbon barrel aged Baltic Porter. And it's aged in bourbon. Key part, right? Aged in bourbon barrels. Yes, aged in bourbon barrels. It's key part. From what Todd and uh, Laura told us Damn. last week. That's dark. Damn. Well. Wait, before before we take, how, how, how's it on the nose? Real quick. I smell chocolate. Yeah. Damn. Well, can't smell we it. know that because that's what they told us. Yeah. So, well, that's what I read. I don't smell. Yeah, he's at Buffalo. Right. So, like always, drink up. Damn. I know I just said coffee, but I definitely get coffee. Like a chocolate type uh, taste. Chocolate, coffee, maybe some, I don't know, that's caramel. But if you're a coffee lover, I would definitely say this is Rabiali. This is and also this is for a beer. This this one specifically for a beer drinker. If you're into light beers and you haven't like delved come this to. far, but it's definitely something I can fuck with. Even if what if you like a avid coffee drinker, I that, am that I'm not doesn't a, drink I'm not, that's, beer. That's that'll be my question to you guys. So so my thing with that is beer. Always has like a aftertaste or a kickback. That's why I feel like that's why people don't like beer per like necessarily. So if you're a coffee drinker, like on the front end, you'll get the coffee taste, you'll get the coffee smell, but that aftertaste after every sip might not sit well. With I don't you. think this is too bad though on the aftertaste. I, I don't think it's too bad. I no, don't think not. it's too bad either. It's but not. if you're not a beer drinker, whether you like coffee or not, this may not be like your cup of tea. Hmm. So I, I guess, like it though. What would you say? Even though we're doing a beer review, real quick, like so that the Kahlua and mixed with like what, what do you call it? Like a coffee martini? Or what was that called with the Kahlua mixed with coffee? Bellies. Bellies, yeah. Like, with like is it like because because Tanisha loves uh, Tanisha? Oh, no, Pooh's she would wife, love this. She loves like coffee yeah. and she loves like Kahlua mixed with like. Uh, whatever is mixed with vodka, rum, whatever. She right. she says she loves that type of stuff. So I was just wondering, you know, if a coffee drinker that loves coffee would mind drinking, you know, the three year age beer. I mean, I f I f but I feel like uh, 
She's a drinker. She's drinker, a drinker. Though. She's yeah, a drinker yeah. so too. She would love this. So if you're a drinker and you like coffee, this is definitely for you. But before we like veer too far off what we're talking about, let, uh, let's get into these ratings. One through ten. Uh, I'll go first. I'll give it a. I'll give it an eight. Dang, he took my number. Yeah, I'll give it an eight. It's um. No numbers aren't exclusive. Uh, yeah. Um. Yeah, like I said, I give it an eight. I'm not, you know, I'm not much of a coffee drinker, but it does have a a good taste to it, and it's it's something I would, you know, I would try again, and I have. This is my second time having this, and it doesn't disappoint. I like it because it's um it's a lot colder than the first time we had it last week when we were at Attic Brewery. Um, yes, so an eight for me. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I'll go next. I, I'll let you go last. Um, what? I let him go last. Like, not go. It's cool. I mean, <clears throat> um, for me, well, I'm a beer drinker. Uh, I like coffee. I'll give this a seven and a half. Uh, it's good. I mean, it, I don't have really much more to say outside of that. Like, if you're a coffee drinker, if you're a beer drinker, you'll love it. If you're a coffee drinker, I encourage you to try it. Try some new things. And if you're a beer drinker, try new things also. Okay. Um, yeah, I would say I would give it an eight, and I would also say that. So I'm not a coffee drinker, but I like uh, like gingerbread coffees, pumpkin spice coffees. I like flavored coffees more than just the regular coffee. So I'll say like for people that that I would say average at drinking coffee, um, that really like coffee in the deli, I think they can dive right into this. Honestly, I, I think they could. Um, it's chocolatey. I, it might be some type of caramel in here. Um, it's like I said, the, the beer taste is like the aftertaste is like on the end. Um, so the captain would say, you know, to start off with <laughs> this uh three year three beer. Um, if you're a coffee drinker, um, or if you just like a average at drinking IPAs, either way, this is eight for me. So we got a seven and a half, an eight, and eight. I feel like all across the board, that's unprivileged approved. Yes, it is. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So definitely make your way to Attic Brewery. Cap address one thirty seven East Berkeley. Unprivileged drinkers, East Berkeley. baby. Make your way to Attic Brewery. Definitely get the year three and try all the different beers that they have. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, try all the different beers they have. And also one last thing before we go, get you some good grub too. I feel like this is perfect for this time of year. Yeah. Like it's, it's heavy beer, stout beer. It's cold outside. You could, especially if you're a coffee drinker, you could curl up in front of a fire, read a book, watch a show, have a beer. It's perfect. It might be on your ass afterwards if you <laughs> if you ain't used to drinking. What's the percent on this? We did we say the percent? Mm, yeah. Damn, no, it didn't. It doesn't say the percent. It uh, does not say the percent. They told us last week, but I don't remember. Damn. I know it was a high percentage though. But just yeah. know if you drink enough, it'll get you drunk. Right, listen, you won't last no more than two of them. You're done. Unprivileged drinkers, baby. Taste test for the hood. We out. Unprivileged drinkers, baby.